Hello everybody, oh my gosh, how come I'm floating, I'm floating so much around right now, oh my gosh, oh my, why am I floating so much, I'm not meant to be floating this much, I'm not meant to move around this much since I got my new room, because otherwise it looks really weird when I'm doing this, it's her, the conjurer, the conjurer of Warhammer painted a minute, no no, if only I could conjure painted Warhammer, I'd save so much money. I'd wax my microphone and my um, camera at once. That I should have really thought about where I was going to put my microphone before starting the stream. But yes, we're going to be painting today. Look, paint pot, Citadel paint pot right there, right there on the wall. Not the wall, but yeah. Do you want to see some cool stuff? Do you want to see some cool stuff? I've been practicing painting. I've been practicing. And hello, Sandwich Man. Hello, Talon17. Hello, everybody. Hello, 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 hello. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh, why am I dropping so many frames? As soon as I start the stream, just all my frames disappear. Is that it? Is that it? Is that what you're telling me? Why? Why? Um, a conjure painted Warhammer creative workshop would eat you. You mean games workshop? Games workshop. Oh my gosh, my frames are just dropping out of nowhere. What the hell? Why can't I connect to YouTube? Oh, I don't know what's happening. Because it's snowing. Yeah, hello, Banwe. Hello, Banwe. I hope it's not affecting you guys too much. I hope it's not affecting you guys too much for like a WhatsApp of a bit rate. Because this just seems crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I did YouTube. I did not YouTube. I did restart my PC. Um, 
But yeah. I hope it's not affecting you guys too much. Nothing I can do about it. Oops, my camera needs moving because it got knocked off. It got knocked out of balance. There we go. There you go. As you can see, I've been trying to practice painting miniatures. I was practicing using ink to do shoulder pads. But it looks terrible. It looks terrible. It, it's very difficult to control where the ink goes. So I just went back to using normal grey paint and this looks so much nicer. This, I mean, it's still not great, but that's because it's not finished yet. But that's just so much nicer. Oh, oh, and we repainted Aldrin. Asking unrelated questions. Is, is the drinking limit in the UK that low that 20 year olds quit drinking? Um, 18 is the drinking limit in the UK. 18 is the drinking age. But at the moment, drinking's becoming less popular. Yeah. I did it not directly before the stream because I just got too much stuff to do before the stream to do entire having to set up everything for about 20 minutes. But yes, pretty much. As soon as I could, the latest I could before the stream, I restarted my computer. So yes, I did do that. But look. It's got Aldrich. I got a pen. I got a white pen, white ink pen to be able to write characters' names on so we can come up with the names together and we can write them down. We can write them down. Those are the two names I've already got. Oh, Briar Mo's here. Hello, Briar. Hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. You know what? I need to do something. Just give me a moment. Give me a moment. I need to click on you. I need to click on you. I just moderate the Save. Say, there we go. There we go. Bye, I'm a YouTuber. I'm good. Hi, yay. You're good. You're good. I've seen that you got a new model coming out. That's higher than expected. Yee. Yee. Ah, thank you. Yeah. But yeah, this is a model I painted already when I was getting back. I didn't have all the paints to do now or any decent brushes. Um... Yeah, but it's a model. Where is it? Where is it? This is the second in command of the army. Yornia. There he is. There he is. See, he's got a cloak. He's got dirt all over him. A big blade that says judgment on it. Yeah, judgment word. Look at judgment. You can't even see the judgment blade. Oh my gosh. Come on. Judgment blade. Judgment blade. There it is. There it is. There it was. My hooker. Yeah. 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 And also, also, I've got some old models here. Oh, let me move my magnifying glass out of the way for now. Dirty boy. Yeah, I've got an old model. That's an old come Oh my gosh, the paint has not survived one of this. And I did not paint it well. It's a very old, this is an Imperial Guardsman. Oh my gosh, this, he lost his tassels on his back. Oh no. Yeah, it's an Imperial Guardsman commander. And he's got a neck on all about power fist. But yeah, look how tiny he is compared to a Space Marine. Compared to a Space Marine, he's tiny. He's so tiny. Look at the base size as he goes straight inside. I have no clever whether I have school or not tomorrow, but I assume that there's no school. It's Friday tomorrow. It's snowing here, by the way. It's snowing, but yeah. Oh, and I, 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 I edited. You know, the commander we built last time. Yeah, I, I kind of um decided to comfort to work on him a bit more. This is a commander now. I've undercoated all the models. Damn, he is tiny. What do we feed him? Well, this guy's like a normal person in size. This guy's like. Eight and a half foot tall. So yeah. yeah he'd be tiny, but that's just because he's a normal human. He's a normal human with cloak. With a cloak to be cloak. Yeah. But look how big this guy is now. Look how big Alderic is. He's huge. He's huge. He's bigger than him. 
He's in his feet. I gave him a new fist. I, I made a new hand from him from various bits and pieces. Oh my god. Come on, Aldrich. We want to focus on you. Come on. But why don't you want to focus today? You were focusing well before the stream. There we go. There we go. There he is. Look at his new giant fist. His new giant fist. Oh, and look, that's of a Imperial Knight. That face. That's cool. Look at all these bits. And this is some soundboard. Not soundboard. Some, um, Foam for putting on your walls to absorb sound. I had some spare pieces of it from cutting some up to put on my walls. And I covered it in liquid green stuff to get this kind of rock for him to stand on. Yeah. Yeah, but look how big his hand is. His hand's like bigger than this dude. It's like... <laughs> the corpse ration. I would try it. You are too close to his camera. Yeah, but if I go this far away, it doesn't focus either. Like, look at that, it's all blurry. So blurry. And my hands don't cover. I, I have to be this close just to cover the camera. Just to cover the rest of it so I could see it. Also, I'm still quite far away, I'm like... There's my camera. There's my hand. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. I find... I feel like the space marines around people because I'm five foot to left and enough is up between five. You're tiny. I'm six foot four. I'm taller than even you are. Yeah, I'm a space marine. Oh my gosh, my model stopped moving. Yeah, but I'm a space marine. I'm a space marine. The big hand is very funny. I just imagine that he slaps the enemy because they don't have a privilege for a thing. <laughs> kind of dark in there. Maybe that's by it. It's not that dark. I've got so many lights on. I've got so many lights. Like, look at all this reflective light here. Reflective light. Yeah. Yeah, maybe it just looks dark because there's so many lights and each one's casting their own different shadows. I caught the bush, don't worry. It, it rolled away, but I caught it. I caught it, but yeah, it looks so cool. He's got such a big hand. He's like so big. He's so big. He's like this is another big guy and he's bigger. I mean he is stood on a big rock. Um but still. But still. It's huge. It's like a cent he's now like a centerpiece model. He's meant to be my commander, so that's like a centerpiece model. But now he feels like a centerpiece model. I bet that's very bright for you, cup problem. Okay, I've got every single dark light on in my room. Don't just tell me, don't know how many light bulbs are on right now. Oh my gosh, each of these lights actually has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 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 so that's 81. 82 lights are on inside this room right now. And oh my gosh, I was looking directly into the light and now I can't see anything other than just like these light bulbs that are still on my vision. They've seared her way into my vision. I can't see anything but those light bulbs. Oh no. Oh no. Because I, it, it means that there's just so much. Like, so actually, it's because there's three light bulbs above my, three lights above my desk. Each one's an LED light. And each of those LED lights has like 25 LED bulbs inside it. Not enough light, lucky numbers. Is your room illuminated by Christmas tree lights? Well, I mean, they are LED lights, so kind of, I guess. Yeah, I mean, I guess it's because I've got all the screens and stuff around here that are just adding to things. Yeah. Yeah. So, but yeah, look, it says Aldrich at the bottom. And it says Jornius the Massius the Third over here. I've been trying to do different experiments. I've decided that I really don't like how the ink looks. It looks terrible. It dries too thick as well. It doesn't dry evenly. 
It's very hard to control. Compare it to this grey, which I can just go over with different layers. It's just so terrible. Maybe I could put it on some of the grey, just very light layers of it on the grey. That's why you're cupcake. Your oven, your, your room is a light oven. No, it's not. Thunder is very, very afraid of fire. I am a vampire. I got banged. Ah. And, um, 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 onion and garlic scares me. It hurts me. It kills me, to be quite frank. But yeah, I mean, we could be painting this guy, but I thought I'd be able to paint these guys in the time before the stream, just practicing, and I didn't. You can see, I've got like the armor mostly done. Um, and I got the shoulder pads started on some of them. Slowly getting cooked. <laughs> I am kind of slowly getting cooked. It does. It is like a slow cooker in my bedroom. But no, I need all the lights on so that the um it detects it. So that my room detects stuff. Not room. That, that my track, my camera, and my tracking works properly. Um, so that it can see me, and you can see even now it's breaking a little because I had to move where it is normally. Because normally it's like above my screen, like up there, but now it has to be down there. Otherwise, the camera that's recording here, this camera right here, yeah, that camera would be blocking it and you wouldn't be able to see me look down. Whenever I'm looking down at a miniature to paint it, like, oh la la la, oh la 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 la, oh la 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 la. Let's get some red paint and just go blah 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 blah. Make it all red. <laughs> when you're painting your minis, I'll be here finishing the funny juice until I fall asleep mid stream. At least you're warm from all those lights. Uh, I guess so. I guess so. And I've got a computer here that's also cooking. That's like probably producing way more heat than the lights. Damn video is about to have cupcake dreams. Yeah. Yeah, cupcake dreams. You know, always go where it's going to be a good dream and it's a cupcake dream. But yeah, you go over here. Rah. Actually, I'm not throwing him. He's just going to go over here. Out of bed. No, no. You're going to go over here. You're going to go over here. But yeah. Oh, guys. Do you know what you want to call this dude? We need a name. It can be a comedy name as long as it sounds like a space marine name. So like Latin, Italian, Spanish, something like that. But for Apocryphary, for Medic. He's a medic who is also a biological researcher. He's a scientist. He's a scientist. Yeah, look at him. Look at me, it's a gun. There's this thing. This thing is used to contain things like bean seed, random biological samples of aliens. Yeah. Yeah. And he's got a bionic eye. Just like just like how main character does. How do it? Just like he does. Oh got bionic eye. Yeah. I don't think it's so just um Yeah. Okay, now you can see how bright it is in my room, by the way. <coughs> like it focuses and becomes really dark there, but as soon as I do this, just look at the board behind it and how bright it becomes. <laughs> Nerdiest. Maybe it's too bright. Maybe that's the issue. Maybe it's not too dark. It's too bright. Yeah. Nerdius. Nerdius could be a name. Wrong plan. I'll be dreaming about slaughter. Not the corn of a vampire. Well, to be honest, if you're slaughtering, it will inevitably be for corn. Because that's just how corn works. If it hates everybody equally, that just means you have a perfect sus subject for corn. That's how corn works. In fact, half of corn's subjects hate corn and want to kill him. Yeah. Yeah. Like Abaddon hates chaos. Hates chaos does does our, does our Abaddon. I don't want Fenris Grey. I want Administrator Grey. Oh yeah, look at all the paints I've got. I've got these paints here, which are like different colours. Why do I have more than brown here? That's meant to be my brown colours, but yeah, I've got brown colours. I've got silver metal colours. I've got 
goldy and bronzy colours. I've got some red. Where's my other red? I have two reds. Oh, here's the other red. Two reds. And I've got all of these blocks and shades of black. Yeah. And I've got this purple colour to help. I did a coat of purple on the tops of each of these models. Just a thin layer of it to give it a bit more colour and vibrancy. I've also got a bunch of grey colours. Like grey colours. Yeah. Oh, so wait, are you? No, you're white. Oh, another was grey. Yeah. Grey colours. I've got some for a bit bluey and grey colour. I dare say. And I've got this white ink. Terrible. Don't like it. And I got these blue colours. These blue colours. And I'll show you some. Where's my white? Where's my white? Yeah, white and bone colours. Yeah. So many of them. So many of them. Oh, Virginia's here. Hello, Virginia. How are you doing? How are you doing? Uh, my day's been going okay. So has cupcake. Has so has cupcakes. I swear when I saw Virginia's name, my, bre my brain, my bread, my brain starts saying, Almost heaven. Where's Virginia? Take me home, country roads, to a place I belong. Where's Virginia? Oh, also I got for overpriced Games Workshop palette, but I was wondering, oh, what type of palette is this? And it just turns out it's paper. It's just paper. Like, why? Why is it so expensive? Why is the paper so expensive? Also, that's like from when I was painting this food here. And a couple of other things, but yeah. And this is what I'm going to be painting these guys. Yee. Yee. Oh, so. So let's get going. Let's get going. Let's open some administratum grey and get these shoulder pads painted. I want to test the different things. We have this over here. Needs a little more paint on it. Needs a little more paint on it. Do, 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 do. The one issue with the way I'm painting right now is what's the word? What's the word? Um, I'm having to hunch over the paint. Also, I recommend that if I'm painting use cup tool because it's going to be very difficult for me to focus on painting and chat at the same time because i can't see chat when i'm looking down at this model and doing very fine strokes yeah or paper palettes yeah paper palette paper palette paper palette it was overpriced paper palette i don't know why so expensive. There we go. There you go. You've been scammed. Molding. Molding. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Definitely molding. Okay, are my emotes working? I can't see the screen. Did the molding emote appear on screen? I wasn't paying attention. I hope it did. I hope it did. There you go. Some administratum grey on their shoulder pad. Another layer or another colour might do well here. Some love hearts. Thank you. If you don't know Country Road, you're a heretic and should be in a penitent crusade. Nah, you're a penitent crusade. You're a penitent crusade. I was reading about the Lemonus and the Mantis or whatever. Not the Luminous. What were they called? Lamentus! Lamentus and the Mantis Warriors and stuff. I was like, oh, that's sad. They were the good guys in this situation. Like, sure, they weren't paying the taxes, but they couldn't afford to because of that constant war. They needed support, not more tax 
this. Instead, you went down to the crusade after them. It was mostly gangs that were involved in getting the taxes as well because they wanted corruption money. There we go. That shoulder pad's looking a lot nicer now. Yeah, either paper palette in itself is rather good. It's got its use there, so for just using a plastic palette. Um, especially for when you're mixing waters and stuff, but... Yeah. There you go, that looks a bit better. Let's go over these guys. With a silly white ink shoulder pad. Oh my gosh, this white ink was so thick. It's so thick. Oh my gosh. I've ruined these shoulder pads. I'm going to have to take a knife and scour it all. Or file or something. I feel like. Ba 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 da do 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 do. Country Road is an amazing song. Yeah, it single handedly sold Fallout 76. Country Road, take me home to the place I belong. West Virginia. Fallout 76. Buy the game, will you please? It's really bad, or it was, but for fans, love the game. What has become? Yeah, yeah. Oh, now, now I want to speak just by trying to sing country words, and I can't sing. I've never been taught to sing. I have not been trained how to sing. Why do you think I can sing? Well, there you go. But look. A tiny bit better than it did before. Oh, maybe I will get the knife. Where's the knife? Where's the knife? I've got to just wash this. I've got to take a knife to it. Sometimes my sad golden boys always treated like rock boot. Golden boys! I sometimes want to be very comforting. Who's the golden boys? Are you talking about cust custodies? Aren't they the golden boys? They can know for the Filipinos and how they sing. I don't know. I don't know. I can learn from a lot of people for how people sing. The people that play the games do so because they already sunk hundreds of hours. In. Well, no, apparently it got updates. It got better. They added NPCs. And if we really like law, they... Added a lot of lore to the game. A lot of lore to the game. Where's my magnifying glass? Set this up so you guys can't see the lens, because otherwise it could reflect back at me. So yeah. Oh yeah, I can feel how thick this is through the knife. Be very careful as we go along here. But thankfully I can pick up the ink off this with a knife without breaking the paint underneath too badly. Just coping. How's your day for mine is good. I was able to cook some sugar coated peanuts. I thought you said sugar cookies at first. I was like, oh sugar cookies. Sugar cookies. And why am I coping over? My inability to sing. No, I already know I've got an inability to sing. I've already been coping over the fact that I need to take a knife to this ink because it was terrible and I didn't like it. Maybe I knew how to use it better, but from what I was told, I used it correctly. I used it how I was told to use it. Maybe I misunderstood. Maybe I misunderstood. I'd have to replace this blade eventually. Oh, coping about. So I've never played for 76. I just know what people talk about 76. 
there's no other people who play it. I know some people love laws. They don't care about the quality of the game as long as it's playable. They just want to study all of the stories of it. Um, yeah, just take it. Just whisper, removing the whisper of this white tape writing from the black where it's going to cause issues. Man, I think blunt's actually useful right now because it's not going to cut away the plastic or the undercoat paint. The primer is just going to get rid of the top layer of ink that dried way too thick in certain areas. There we go. There we go. Hard to paint. I can paint over it, but it's so thick that what happens is it creates lumps. So if I paint over it, it will just have lumps in the armor. But I don't want it. It will just have some weird deformities. Like you might not see very well, but and I did cut some of it off. Uh, oh my gosh, you can barely see. Like that skull had like it was just so thick on the skull. I don't want those lumps appearing everywhere. Yeah. So, okay, this guy is, you can see here, this guy, but pink on it. Um. There we go. There we go, yeah. It's very hard to tell because the ink is reflecting a lot, but you can see it's really not great. So I'm just trying to get rid of the worst defending parts with the knife. Just gently going over, trying to smooth it out. Oh my gosh, that is actually a really big lump and it's all just coming off there. Well, that's fine. Oh my gosh, that's a horrible lump. That's a horrible lump. You probably can't see, it's too small, but yeah, if it's just bits of it now coming off it. Because that's just... Oh, it dried so thick. It dried so thick and so ugly. Okay, just get it off this part of the skull as well, because it's deforming it. There we go. Oh. Oh yeah, a new white is hard to paint. Yeah, it's easier to paint with greys. This reminds me of that one face cream that has a coat so thick that it's unrecognisable. Oh yeah, yeah. Always thin your paints minis, yep. Not law, someone did it, yep. Yep. I'm just imagining if I was space me just wearing like this really thick fur coat. You can't even tell it. No, it's just this massive thick French coat and it just looks like like three rattlings. It looks like three rattlings or three squats in a coat. But in reality, it's just a space marine. And that's his disguise. Everyone's like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're a normal person, right? Yeah. Definitely just three squats in a coat. Nope. Nope. He... Turns out it's actually a space mean. With a very thick coat on. 
best disguise ever. Well, that reminds me of D and D. Someone played a D and D campaign where they were playing as a Goliath who was actually three um, hobbits in a coat. Who was actually a Goliath. There was a Goliath pretending to be three hobbits in a coat, pretending to be a Goliath. <gasps> Yeah, that was actually a hilarious campaign. Yeah. Oh. I don't know much about it. I just didn't really know if that was the main thing about it. And then I can't really remember the rest. Okay, there we go. Just, oh my gosh, it didn't even come down to here. I put it down there. Why did it stop being there? Oh, whatever, just come on off. Come on off here. There we go. Bigger lump. Why did it all dry up as a lump here? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I needed to thin down for ink more or something, but it was already super hard to control as just an ink because it was so wet and watery. We hope it's a bit like a normal person how right? So when painting minis, treat it like watercolour paints. Yes, yes, do it, treat it like watercolour. In fact, they often recommend using watercolour brushes. Over acrylic brushes for some reason, I'm not sure why. I don't know the details of that one. Um, but yeah, do you want to continue painting these guys was experimenting with before? Or should we go on to the big bad boss himself? Oh my gosh, you can actually see the yellow there. Red couldn't reach down there. Oh, it should be fine once we've actually painted his face. I always say two layers of mine. Oh. I imagine if after 13,000 years has passed, a few cyborgs found out Warhammer 30k and thought it was history. <laughs> what? That could actually be funny. I mean, for a few things, but it's like certain. Um, with the Bible and stuff, it's like, wait, is this actually a story book? Or is this actually meant to be what the Bible claimed happened? We don't know which. And it's similar with uh, mythology, actually. Um, for certain parts where you're like, this is definitely mythology. There's no way this could be real. I've had some archaeologists like, um, turns out it's real. Turns out this battle that was in the story is actually real. And the story is surprisingly accurate. It's like, oh. Oh, it turns out it could be real, and it is real. That would be hilarious. Okay, but anyway, we've got paint. We have our paint. We have some stuff here. And grey. Grey over white. Grey, painting grey. Painting grey. Country road. What have you become, West Virginia, with the grey paint, grey, 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 do, 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 do. <laughs> I can sing, definitely I can sing. I'm definitely trying to sing really well right now. Ah, uh, the Bible is a parable of real years. Yeah. It's like, what's it called, isn't it? That's Siege. Um... Oh, what's it called? Tro Tro yeah, the Trojan Horse stuff fiasco. Where it turns out the actual Siege was real. The actual Siege was real. But for ages, mytholo not mythologists, they, they didn't believe it was a real place and a real thing that happened. They thought it was just like ship of Odysseus sorts of stuff. Or Odysseus, sorry. Um, and all that stuff where it's just a tale part of someone else's thing but no, there's actually a massive siege of this city that people didn't actually realise existed 
Or it's like the bats are off the map alive. Was it a real thing? Yes, it turned out to be a real thing. Was it exactly as they said in the stories? Maybe not, but... That's what makes it so hard, because it always over-exaggerates and even and writing everything as if it's a story, even for real history, so it makes it very difficult to know if they're actually writing about the truth or just some fiction, and what of a story is actually real and what of it is just a bit of fiction. Yeah, I can see chat moving. People aren't using cultural. Just put your mini screen and use them as the green screen. No! No! If, if I get the chance to buy sets, I would not paint the set and call it for unpainted ones. Yeah, Games Workshop would. If you wanted to use them in a tournament, art for stars. Depends on the store owner and the tournament organizers, but yeah, usually they don't allow that to pass. Even if I painted terribly, if I wanted to paint your minis. Yeah, okay, I'm going to just clean up my brush a little. Du, 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 du. I will paint them for you. Don't let Talan paint them. He's the worst painter I've ever seen in my life. I actually don't know. I think I've already seen one of his minis. But no, two of his minis. One of them was great. One of them was... A bit weird, not so great. But still, great, yeah. Explodes, explodes, yes, explodes, Shalan. That was my aim all along, just to make you explode. <laughs> you can tell I was painting my gloves on earlier. I was having to practice painting my gloves on, you know. I have to make sure I can paint the gloves on. And this is another reason why the gloves I wear are disposable. Yeah. Da, 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 da. But yeah, always thin for base. If you're using base paints, you always need a thin one. They're just too thick for anything else other than being thin. Layer paints are okay if you just you just want very little on your brush when you're using them. That's the main thing. Um, contrast paints shouldn't really need to be thinned because they're already very watery. Your layer paints you can thin from. Your layer paints you can definitely thin. Um, but you don't necessarily need to and sometimes it won't work for you because if you thin from it can make it more difficult to control where the paint goes. There we go. But yeah, the base paints are just so incredibly thick. Don't call my minis. I've already seen two of them. And you were like the one who was talking about how bad one of them was. Like, it was not bad. It's just... You know... A bit jumpy and for chunky, actually. I can't even remember. Was it a griffin dog? I think it was a griffin dog. It wasn't dumpy and for chunky. I just wanted to say dumpy and for chunky because it had popped into my head. And sometimes I have very little self-control. I don't drink. I have no self-control. You don't want to give someone who already has no self-control something that reduces self-control even further. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Sandwich Grey Army. I actually do have a tank that right? But it's technically painted. And I mean technically because it's so, it actually grey that you wouldn't even realise that it's painted. Or half painted rather. But for grey on it, it's actually paint. I can't remember if it's one I painted myself or if it's something... I know that I bought a bunch of Imperial Guardsmen. But I can't remember which ones I painted myself and which ones I didn't. Especially for later Guardsmen I had. Because I was starting to get better at painting by then. Um... Dumpy and the Drucky. Does that mean like she got cake? Yeah. Cupcake! Cupcake! 
Because I called one bad, you called him one weird. That's personal. I didn't want to call it bad because it felt too mean. It felt mean. I didn't want to. Okay, come on. Ah, good old paint. A good old taste of paint. Remember, taste you actually don't don't eat your paints, don't drink your paints. That's a joke. I didn't actually drink any paint. And you can't prove anything because you can't see if my lips are covered in paint. Well, you can't see if if my lips are covered in paint or not. Next to us say my minis are jobless. They are jobless. Do they have jobs? Do we earn your money to learn? Hello, Konnichiwa. Hello. When? Where's she's retired? Did Kondra just lick her mint? No, I didn't. I was going. I, I picked up the paint, but I went. Ah, taste the paint. This is in English. We can only moderate English chat, so please type in English if you can. Hi. Hello. How are you doing? Welcome to the stream. We're currently painting Warhammer. We're currently painting Warhammer. Sorry, I can't speak English. It's fine. It's fine. I can't speak Japanese. I can't speak Japanese. This model is being painted. I keep wanting to lean in close to my mini to see it better. And I'm like, no, 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 that will put me on camera. That will put me on camera. I'm like, uh, oops. Oops. Yeah. Yeah. Google Translate. Google Translate. There we go. I am painting a miniature. I'm still the past of being painted. I'm not very good at this. I'm pretty bad, actually. Wow! Oh. Pandanus Rex joined the mix. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you. I turned those sounds down a little for people so that they weren't going to be as loud. I hope people like it now. I hope people aren't getting ear splitted by it now. Yippee! I got a, got a big cupcake on my head, but I can't because I've got paint covered gloves on. I don't want to use my cup keyboard with paint covered gloves on. Actually, no, we're not that covered in paint. It's just, it's very difficult using my keyboard right now because I have to. The way my setup is, I have to undo part of my setup to use the keyboard. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I just completely. Oh my gosh, I'm ruining it. I'm ruining everything ever. Oh, they are nice. They are nice. You are nice. You are lovely. They said hello and it's the first time here. Yeah. Yeah, I thought they said hello. I read for hello. I read for hello. I know enough because you'll recognise that one. Um, oh, thanks. Yeah, first time here. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being here. Sorry that I can't actually show my hands right now because I'm having to do some fine work and I'm failing absolutely at it in every single regard possible. I need to wash my brush, but I didn't wash my brush. Why didn't I wash my brush? Oh no. Oh no. I forgot to put my hair bubble on. This is not good. This is not good.
Come on, it's your fault. Run away. It's also your fault. And Savage Man, you're not to blame. You're never to blame. You're amazing. Wait, I'm joking. I'm joking. Oh no, it's starting. Rest now, Savage Man. When a person comments the most unhinged comment, even nobody bats an eye. But when I comment something less unhinged, the site they treat me like an Australian. What? What? Walks that thin line, and I can respect that. Let's go to land walks the same thin line every day. Hair bubble. No, hair bubble. 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 B O B B L E. B O B B L E. It's a hair bubble. Hair bubble. It's not a hair tie. It doesn't tie anything. It bubbles it. It bubbles it. It bubbles it. Look, I got my Citadel. I got my Citadel water here. Looks like cooler now. Looks like cooler. Okay, Kundra, I will always get blamed for everything. Yeah. <laughs> I can be as wholesome as kind as I am on the Yee. Yee. Okay, drive a bush. Drive a starter bush. Look at my starter bush. Look at it. Look at it now at low resolution. Terrible. Terrible. Great. Useful. I can do it. You know what? These guys are looking terrible. Throw them away. Toss them aside. What should we call him? What should we call these guys? For? What does this guy want to be called? What does this guy want to be called? He's an apocryphary. He's a medic. He's a scientist. And well, considering some of the stuff he does, some of the Black Templar might consider heretical, like studying Xenos. What should his name be? Because I have a pen. Where's my pen? Where's my pen? We are not... Sponsored by Sharpie, but but Sharpie pen, Sharpie pen, and it makes noise. See, it makes noise. I should not have done that. You have to push down the cap and then be like that. Welcome to the club, superstar, superstar. Said Radio for your pocket fairy. Said Radio, fix fate, po. Maybe not fix fate, but I like said Radio. What's said Radio? Does said Radio mean something? What's said Radio? I want to know what said Radio means. Said Radio. Said Real. Oh my gosh, it's very hard to type. Meaning. C is the seal. B is desired. Born leader. Born leader. Nerdicus. Actualis. 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 <laughs> Actualis. I kind of like that surname. Nerdicus. I might not call him Nerdicus, but Actualis. I might call Let's call him Sedrio. Actualis. Okay. Okay. So let's. Oh my gosh. No! No, the pen! The pen! All of it just poured out. All of it just. The tip's meant to be. The tip's meant to be saturated. Not of the entire thing. No! Use the. Use fish, clean it all up. Clean it all up. Oh. Okay, so. But now it doesn't want to write. Said what what's what what did we call it? Said real. Said we L. That did not go on. And then ah. to Alice. There you go. Said we are actual Alice. The entire ink just ran out of it though. 
We have to come up with names for everybody, Phil. Every single person needs names. If you need minis that have full names based this on their chapter, hit me up. Based on their chapter. Yeah, we're Black Templars. We're Black Templars. But see, did you see the name? Did you see the name? Said Vio. I'm sorry. It broke. It broke. The ink, all the ink just poured out of my pen, all of the paint ink. And I had to use my cloth that I was using to dry my brushes with. Oh, sad. Sad. Okay, what do we want to call the boss character? The sword brother in charge of this squad. What do we want him to be called? Actually, what do we want each of these to be called? You've got Guy with chain and his gun and a little shield. Ba -ba 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 -ba. You've got Guy with a grenade launcher under slung on his weapon. You've got Guy who has one pistol, two pistols and another gun. And you've got just normal guy firing with chains. Yeah. Osma. Osma for this guy. Yeah, that's, that's good enough. Osma. Osma. You can't go with joke names of these normal people. I just want the characters to have cool names. Osma. Marius Aquilus. Uh, maybe not Aquilus. That one would be because the that, that little eagle on the chest is an Aquila. Referred to as an Aquila. Yeah. I'm going to call this dude Oliver. He's just so normal. He looks like an Oliver to me. Oliver. Oliver. Well, this guy is Osma. I will name um How about Marius Orion? Okay, we'll name this guy Marius Orion. Marius Orion. Maria Sorion. There we go. That's three of them named. We still need Guns McGee. I'm going to call him Guns McGee. I've got to call him Guns McGee. Guns. McGee. Guns McGee. Guns McGee. Yeah. Yeah. Orion. 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 I really you all get on. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just doing weird accents. Um Um I think this dude. Grenade launcher man. You got this dude too. You got this dude. What do you do? What do you do? You got power of this. Who who would who could you beat him up? Could you beat him up? Oh my gosh, you're tiny. Oh my gosh, he's tiny. Look how tiny he is. Look how tiny this... He has a plasma pistol, though. I could kill you, you know. His plasma pistol, kill you. That power fist arm. Whip your head right off, it would. Whip your head right off, it would. Rog. Are we on, like, the wood elf dude? Yeah! I was watching a thing today about, not today, yesterday, last night, last night about the Wood Elves and they got a new insect monster, a new insect monster, and the person who, who I did the video was upset about it because the guy stood on top of the insect monster looked just like Orion. What are we building? Black Templars! Black Templars! There's a cross. There's a cross. Yeah, Black Templars. And here's my boss. Here's my boss. Here's my martial in graphics armor. He's got a giant fist. He's got a giant fist for killing people. He's huge. He's huge. Look how big he is. 
Look how big he is. I named Aldrich. A cupcake. Sorry, my chat was broken. Okay. My chat was broken. I know, I know. I was fixing. I was having to fix my chat so I could actually see chat, and then I was having to fix the audio issues. Any Primark I like? Um, um, Rogel Dawn has to be obviously because he's a Black Templar Primark. Oh, in fact, I don't really know. I've not actually read the Horace Heresy stuff or listened to the audio book. Um, that I mostly just know about Gulliman because he came back. I'm the sword guy, lion, the lion man, oh, my guy, my, my, my boss here, my captain here, my marshal. Could easily beat up any Primark. He could, he could. Put him against Gulliman. I dare you. I'll beat him up. i punch him in the face with a big claw. And he'll be like, yee boy. I think it was an arc in the last life. He just, he just saw Abaddon had a massive claw. I was like, I want to have a massive claw. I want to have a massive claw. And I just got a notification. A conversation. Ah. Yeah. I'll have to answer that later. But yeah. Yeah. He just saw Abaddon had a massive claw. He's like, I want a massive claw. Gaspard has a massive claw. I want a massive claw. So he took a top of dead and dread an art arm and gave himself a massive claw. I'm joking. He, he just has a massive claw. I'm not entirely sure why. That's a reason for why he has a massive claw, but he does. Yes. Yes. My favourite one is Gulliman because he's cool. Girly man. Girly man. My faff is a logistics genius, girly man. Robert Girly bit. Rebute Curry man. Rebute Curry man. <gasps> Falcon! Falcon is amazing because he's such a nice person. I love Falcon. He's adorable. I'd buy him a donut. I'd buy him a donut and a milkshake. And I just want to see him eat the donut. It'd be like Shaq eating a donut. Do you know Shaq? Have you seen him holding a normal donut? It looks tiny. It looks tiny in his hands and he's got massive hands. Yeah. Yeah. I just wanna watch I just wanna watch a massive dude folk and just like on a milkshake and like with a tiny donut. And I just like sat at a cafe but on a seat that's like way too small for him. And just like like treating everyone really nicely. And it flown off is pronounced it flown off. Yeah. Yeah. Girly man worked too hard for too long to be called a reboot taker, man. <laughs> I like Alpharius. I'm pretty sure he's alive 60%. Well, isn't Alpharius? It's like, isn't for a joke about Alpharius? You're Alpharius. No, you're Alpharius. We're all Alpharius. I think, um, um, the Emperor. Called an Alpharius in his fight against Horus or something. Yeah. Black Templar. That's a model I painted earlier. Um, We're going to have to paint these shoulder pads. We're going to have to paint them better. Wait, what other paint do I want? We could use a white paint. What's this paint? What's this paint? Wave bone. I want wave bone. I like wave bone. Let's use wave bone. If say it loud enough, it becomes canon. Joke's on you. I'm Omegon. I'm Omicron 6. 
I am Omicron 6. What's that joke from? I don't know. Um, um, Optimus Prime is my favourite um, Primark. <laughs> Optimus Prime. Definitely Optimus. He's definitely in the 40k universe. Don't think about it too hard. You, you, you'll just confuse yourself. It's fine. It's fine. No need to worry. No need to worry about it. Oh, darn it. I wanted to give them blue shoulder pads. Oh, I wanted to give each squad their own unique shoulder pad. Um, what gold did you use? I've got titanium gold and gold leaf before. Oh, um, mine is the gold on this guy. Is a mixture of fulgurite, fulgurite copper, and Balthasar gold. Um, yeah, because that's the only colours I had back then when I was painting this one. So yeah. Funny enough, that smoke for copper-looking colours is actually Balthasar gold, or the gold-looking colours are actually fulgurite copper. <laughs> Which I find funny. Am I all various? God darn it. Yeah, I wanted to paint these shoulder pads blue because I wanted each squad to have like one of the shoulder pads represented their squad, which squad they belong to. So I don't get them confused when I'm moving them around. Yeah, I'll just paint them blue afterwards. Yeah. There we go. Come on. Come on. There we go. Get this painted here. Get this painted. There we go. There we go. That's starting to look nicer and more solid. Hmm. What's the best time arc though? Um. Isn't one of the um, Primarchs of a Traitor Legion actually relatively good? I can't remember his name. But it's like he's a, actually a good person. I mostly get my knowledge of Primark from YouTube shorts. So yeah. Horace Heresy a lot I mostly know from YouTube shorts. And from um, years ago when I read about it. But the, the, the law on the Horus Heresy has changed a lot since I was um, definitely involved in Warhammer stuff. When I was actually paying attention and following it and reading books years and years ago. Back when I was a little kid. But also I probably misunderstood most of it. Sorry that this is not on camera, it's just much more delicate work, so I need to look at it closely. I don't even go into the corner, what the hell? Wait, is that a base colour? Oh, it is a base colour. I need to be watering down this colour. That's why it's not doing what I want it to do. I'm working with a base colour. Who? Who? There we go. There we go. Thin, water it down. This is nice. This is nice. There we go. Uh, and just... Give for Fane is his wife, idol waifu. Yeah! Eldar waifu. I want an Eldar waifu. I want a hot elf waifu. Eldar waifu. I don't really. I just like the joke. I just like the joke of um, Lionel and girly man meeting up and early girly man's like, have you met my girlfriend? And just like, what? Like, what? Yeah. The Empire, the Imperium's weird. Not in terms of painting, but what, what, what was this? He is in my law. He is in my law. Damn Gumpa building. That's like a step above us. 
Can I tell us a painted different creature? Gunplay, yeah, gunplay is quite straightforward. You don't need um Gunplay is basically all push fit models that are already pre-painted. So and it's not that complex. I mean there's a lot of pieces, but it's more like a jigsaw, it's more like a 3D jigsaw puzzle is gunpla in many regards. Um which means some Warhammer models are not far off that. Like some of the really large ones. Like have you seen the Stomper? Although that does require glue. The Star just sets more like Gunpla. That's that's just um normal. Oh. Let's defend the car assassin boner now. Now pack me he's technically not. They're just kind of allied, allies of convenience at the moment and because you know this tyranny is in chaos and neither the Eldar nor the humans want the Eldar, want the tyranny of chaos around. And to be quite frank a lot of humans and lots of Eldar are like you know what we're not that different from one another. We really need to work together for the benefits of both of our races. The Eldar knowledge and ancient technology could really help. Especially since the Eldar technically are very similar to the Necrons, in which they have a lot of anti chaos technology from the age of them um, left behind by the old ones. But humans actually know how to use that technology better than the Eldar even do, and how to replicate it, oddly enough. Um, and the Necrons do as well. Necrons are the ultimate good guys though. The Silent King. Beating up Tyranid. Defeating Chaos. People think of that powers being too um, good for the dark, for the dark rim future, but really it's chaos. Not chaos, it's really Necrons. They're the ones with the good guy powers. Blue coin, hello blue coin, just stopping by, can't stay for long. That's fine, but well, welcome to the stream. We're not eating cupcakes here. Love for how dare you call us monkey and not even racially motivated. Yeah, leftovers and reward in heaven. I want to be a Katan faction to be honest. You have a Katana or dead canonically. Maybe if we had a War in Heaven version of the game, but I don't think Games Workshop would ever want to do that. Um, because, especially considering some of the negative um, things that are coming out of um, from adding more Dark Age of Technology components to the lore. People want it to remain mysterious. And every time you don't keep it mysterious, and it can become like, um, just this gimmick, this plot armour. Just fixing everything, Deus Ex Machina's just coming along. The only non xenophobic thing of a setting. <gasps> Don't eat the cupcake, blue coin! Don't eat the cupcake! Okay, one thing I wanted to do with a squad is to make their blank um, shoulder pads that have, don't have a cross on or be the colour of their squad so this squad will be blue maybe it will be red maybe it will be red now maybe we will leave it blue and what we'll leave it white and what we'll do instead is um, paint it on the helmet what squad they belong to that could be cool right or maybe we'll paint it on the backpack like blue little things with a blue little window. Blue coin is a menace. We gotta stop him. I feel the war have a book of thought for rights that's not bad with numbers. Uh, yeah, some of the writers are really weird with numbers because some of them will talk about war spanning multiple planets with like a million guardsmen. As if that's a lot of guardsmen. Um. While others will walk, talk about a story that, of, that just takes place on a single continent and claim that it's killed two billion guardsmen and that there's currently like five billion fighting in the war and that those numbers are just too huge. 
Like, especially when you consider the size of the area, the end, there just wouldn't be anywhere to walk other than the guardsmen being in the way and all the tanks. So it's a bit confusing, some of the walls. Um... Yeah. Basically, Grim Dark near a bottom hill in what? Yeah. I could I could have a faction with some with some even more bizarre Necron cosmos would be nice. I mean the Catan shards are still a thing, so I guess you could have a bunch of Catan shards. And the fact I think for all considered epic heroes at the moment means you can't really do that. No. Now I'm gonna go with a blue shoulder pad. I'm gonna go with a blue shoulder pad. Where is my McBag blue? That's Ottendor, that's Lemon Rudders, that's Caligar. Here it is, my bag. It's a base colour, so we're going to have to water it down, unfortunately. I like more undead factions too in Fort. I do want a vampire faction in Fort Decay. At one point in law, there was um, actual vampires in the Fort Decay law. Um, but then that ended up becoming a bit retconned. So. Yeah. A bit like the Swats. But it wasn't an actual army faction, they just existed. It's like, hey, did you know vampires exist in 40k? It's like, oh, really? Nice. Okay, but if that's too watery. There we go, that should be a bit better. That's better. That's better. Not too watery, not too thick. Just like. Yeah. Oh, okay, this is looking nice. Well, let's look. How does that feel? That looks a bit better. I mean, I need another coat on that one, but fine, fine. Mesopod is basically, see, yeah. I mean, the Sanguinius chapter for Blood Angels are basically vampires, but, I mean, that's not like un proper undead vampires. And some of the um, Chaos stuff seem a bit like vampires, but again, they're not proper undead vampires. We need undead vampires that are separate from Chaos. I mean, I guess the closest thing to that is actually the Eldari. The Eldari have a bunch of undead things for wraiths. There we go. What is purple? It's an invisible. Yeah, purple is invisible. Never heard of it. Never seen. I've never seen purple. I have heard of it though. I have heard of it. I've heard it's similar to blue, but blue makes you really lucky. Blue makes you super lucky. That's why we're putting blue shoulder pads on our characters so that they can be lucky. Like, I don't know if it's just a random hole in the middle of my um, paper right there. Don't know why. And red makes you go faster. That's why space means of red eyes, so they can see things faster. Um, that's why they got such good reaction speed, because the red eyes make them see faster. Makes them see it happen faster, makes them react faster. Just so good, really. Never want to get on Marine's bad side, which is like punch him in the face immediately. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. There you go. Blue shoulder pads. Blue shoulder pads. We need Setra back. Setra is basic of a silent king in 40k.
That trust serves no one. I think it's a Silent King. It is a Silent King that's basically for good Necron, isn't it? The other Necron that's been saving everyone's butts from Tyranids and Chaos and stuff. Um, I thought it was Tarzan the Collector. Tarzan. Tarzan Trizan, whatever his name is. That was um, did the Chaos Titan things. I was like, haha, Chaos can't beat this. And then Chaos just crashed the ship into his planet with a pilot's on. It's like, oh, never mind. I say his planet, Kadia. Kadia. He actually picked the pilots there. It's like, oh, yep, that will do it. That will do it. Chaos can counter it. Never mind. I'll go back to collecting. I'll go back to collect. Blue Eyes White Dragon is molding. No, Blue Eyes just sees Lucky. Like, if, he, if Blue Eyes decides to look at you, you feel very lucky. You'll feel very lucky. Oh, my, this is such a great thing being perished from out the great king of Nikaya, king of kings. Have you ever thought about this? We might be the last generation with this niche hobby, it's like painted figures. No, no, no. It's, Games Workshop's becoming so popular right now. Um, not just in terms of um, games and stuff, but just like in terms of like over COVID, they could not print enough miniatures. Plenty of people's kids are getting into Warhammer. Um. Like, I remember my, it's a people always, but people will always say with the last generation to do this sort of thing. It's like when they were bringing out industry and they're saying, oh, handcrafts are going to die. Handcrafts never died. When they were bringing out um, printing presses, not printing presses, like mass printing and stuff, they're saying things would die off. No, things won't die off. People continue doing things. Traditional art didn't die off because digital art became popular. In fact, many digital artists are... Um, whatever. And it didn't die off as a hobby either. Might be... Actually, no, it's more common than it's been in the past because it's cheaper to get into it now. Before, to do traditional art, it was incredibly expensive. In fact, it's cheaper now than it was just a few years ago when I was having to do it as, like an actual daily part of my life, you know, earning stuff from it. I was spent, half of money I was earning was just going straight back into having to buy supplies. It was crazy. In fact, sometimes I couldn't earn anything. The supplies were just so expensive, but then they got cheaper. They got more common. Yeah. There we go. Just doing some extra layers of paint on these guys. Need a little bit of water. The end of my course. But yeah, I finally finished the funny juice and I'm being a little silly. Nice. We might find a better way to 3D print. Well, we can print figurines ourselves, but the issue is, is that that's, if you want to play Warhammer at an official tournament, yeah, they won't let out that. In fact, we used to be quite lenient about 3D, 3D printed bits and stuff for conversions. But since that's become much more common and much more widely spread, we're actually a lot less lenient about that now. Um, also, it's not cheaper 3D printing for a lot of stuff. Some stuff it would be, like if you would just want to 3D print your main character of your army who's just a normal sized figure like this. Yeah, it's going to be way cheap from buying a £25 piece of plastic. But to be honest, you could easily convert a main character from a bunch of cheap, much cheaper parts like Black Templar, Crusader set. My younger sister is 20 years younger than me. And looking at her generation kind of makes me worry. 20 years younger? How old is she? Are you? How old is she? I mean, I'm not that old. And just one person is not representative of an entire generation. It's my sister is much older than me. And looking at her, you'll never think hobbies would ever take off. You know, handcraft hobbies. Model painting. All of that stuff. 
There we go. My older brother is um, much older than me, and he actually was a bit into uh, model making, you know, he made boats and planes and stuff. And at first I didn't like that stuff, but then I discovered Warhammer, I was like, oh, this is way cooler than what he's doing. And cheaper too, actually it wasn't cheaper. Less fragile. If those boats make out of a drop of a hat, then you have nowhere to put them because they're huge. I've only stopped doing that. I've already got back into it. I've only stopped doing it again. Okay, there you go. For sure the pads look way nice in blue when they're doing white. Now I'm going to add some... Um, while they're letting that draw set a little better before we add any other colours to it, I'll get back onto the white shoulder pad. So my first is getting married this year. Well, I think some of the younger generations are actually... You'd be surprised. A lot of VTubers who are much, who are younger than I am too are into Warhammer getting into it. Well, congratulations on getting married! My little brother is five years younger than me and my sister is one year younger than me. My brother's like, um, I don't know, I think he's like 20 years older than me maybe. Okay, what colour do I want to add to it? I want to add a brighter colour to the pot. Rainbow, no. Screaming Skull. Pallid Flash? That could be good. Corex right. Let's try Corex right. That's the base colour. I used to drink round the clock, so it's great to see younger ones don't drink their liver off. Yeah. Yeah, I don't drink. I can't drink. Well, I can drink technically. I just don't want to drink. I don't like drinking alcohol. It's bad. It's bad. I don't like. Alcohol is evil. Da, 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 da. There you go. Okay, so we'll leave the bottom part of this in the same colour as before, but we do put, put the half in this part of right to give a bit of an effect. Yeah, congratulations on marriage. Marriage! Wait, you're married and you're in a feed tube chat. Oh no! How is this possible? <laughs> oh wait, no, 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 it's a base colour. Oops, I meant to mix this. I meant to mix this with water, aren't I? Oh, looks white. Oh, it's a lot grayer than I expected. This is white. Based on the packet. Hmm. There you go. Let's try it on this side. Oh, well, maybe not that grey compared to the other colours. Red Ministerium grey. Okay. My girlfriend has no idea what VTubers are. She's too normal to know. <gasps> she doesn't know what VTubers are. Oh no, tell her. I bet she could become a VTuber. She can become a VTuber. It's a destination. Destination. Destiny of all people to become VTubers. We will all shed our mortal bodies and become fully virtual. Yeah. Oh, that's looking nice though. But I'm definitely going to have to neaten up these shoulder pads though. They're terrible. They're terrible. Um, okay, come on. We got this. We got this. Sit down here. And here. 
There we go. Ooh. I need to do some here there. Teach me young. No! Leave unguarded fuck. No, don't leave unguarded vodka shots around everywhere. Don't turn him into an anime woman. Don't do it. No. You have to turn everyone into anime women. Everyone ever. Everyone gets turned into anime eventually. We all get absorbed into anime. We all become anime. Okay, but yeah. What I'm doing now is just adding an extra layer of white to the model. Um, to each of a shoulder pad. So that... It will look clearer, but also mostly adding it to the higher levels. Because it's a much clearer and more vibrant right so i want the lower parts of the shoulder pad to be a bit darker because it, that's how things happen things aren't just perfectly white in real life are they you get stuff will be a bit lighter it'll be a bit darker in areas that's what i'm going for here just get the shoulder pad done correctly okay need to actually some of it starts with a dry the brush there we go. I feel really goofy now. Time to go goblin mode! Love is nice. Love is nice. We all love love. I love love. I love love. Except on a Tuesday morning. Of the Tuesday people are fighting. Of the killing everyone on my head. I had to murder them all. Do, do, do. Killing the Tuesday people. Murdering them all. I have no idea what I'm doing. Sorry. I'm being weird. Um, Just going on down here. Down here. There we go. There we go. That looks a bit better. Gonna have to paint that cross. Oh, that, that looks a lot better. That looks a lot nicer, the shoulder pads. Yeah, I did not like the ink. We're not gonna use the ink again. We're not gonna use the ink again. We have no need for the ink. Uh, it's time to sleep. Have an early day tomorrow. See you soon, Cupcake. Can everyone in chat? Bye bye, Ain and Yuki. It was nice for you to come to the stream. Thank you for being here. Yeah. And don't forget, people, if you want me to hear something you're saying, or to see something you're saying quickly, you can use Kupta by doing exclamation mark say and type what you want to say and Kupta will speak for you. Because sometimes it's hard to follow both the chat and the paint. It's 2.34am, I gotta go too. Good night, everyone. Oh, good night! Bye-bye, Briar! Bye-bye, Briar! Thank you for being here! Hope everything goes well for you. Yeah. Yeah, thank you for visiting. Okay, I'll need to up the shoulder pad later. Maybe, maybe. Do I want to do other stuff? What colour do I want for gun? How do we paint guns normally? Oh, there's a plasma gun. I guess we'd paint it blue. That bit in copper. There's a cup there, is it? Okay, actually, wouldn't it? You'll paint this all ear tie thing in blue, this part's in copper, that part's in copper, and then we'll add some burning stuff to around here, and we'll do this part in um, blue too, and add some white to make it look glowy. Just chiming in, nice work. Thank you, Hasusi. And Tarsia, hello. I see painting coming along nicely. It is. Uh, originally, I was going to paint these guys. But before the stream, I wanted to practice painting and test testing different things out. So I was painting these guys and it took way longer than I expected. So we're currently just painting them instead. <gasps> Todd, have you seen my giant guy with a giant claw? My giant guy with a giant claw. It's huge. It's huge. I did a conversion project on him. Look at him next to the tiny guardsman. 
Look at him next to a tiny guardsman captain. Ba, 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 da, ba, da, 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 da. Ye, but claws like huge. Claws like the size that would go inside. Oh, wait, which way? That way. Oh, get grabbed. Get grabbed. I want to get an Abaddon model and just compare how big his claw is to Abaddon's. Also, since there's more people here, anyone got any ideas for names who want to cut name um, this guy of a grenade launcher? This guy of a grenade launcher. Funny dinner's vet. Hey, oh. Hey, oh, no. I spotted using a Norwegian keyboard. Oh, Banri's got to go to. Good night, Banri. Bye bye. Bye boy. No, oh, yay. Tor did make a mistake. Norwegian keyboard stuff. Yeah, it's too fair to fair and I refuse to let sleep win this time. No sleep, sandwich man. You need sleep. Bye bye, boy. If old Bale, I could see a huge claw so you can, your captain. Can have a huge claw so can your captain. Yeah, who's old Bale? Oh, yeah, Bale. Yavik. Yeah. Yavik. Shooty shot mix shooter. Nah, I don't want to call him shooty shot. I've already got this guy called Guns McGee. Guns McGee. I think that's enough crazy names for just shoot to shoot. Baba Bowie. Oh, Baba Bowie for the name. Oh. Maybe, maybe Baba Bowie could be good. Day's been going good. Just crawled out of bed and hit the shower. Hit the shower? Why did you punch your shower? What did it do to you? Okay, which blue do I want? I've got some mag bag blue, which I just use. Hot Duff Guard, Hot Duff Guard Blue. I don't want to use a bright the Bababooey. Bababooey. What's his main weapon? Um, this guy, this guy, he's got a bolt rifle with an underswung grenade launcher on. Technically, it counts as two weapons according to the rules. And he can fire them both in the same turn. So, haha. -ha. It's all for the grenades. They are grenades. He's got a little grenade sling there. Don't use the name Babo. Don't use Baboey as a name. I was just being silly. No, nope, using Baboey as a name. Where's my pen? Baboey. Baboey. I'm joking. We're not using it as a name. My main character here, this guy. This guy, his main weapon is a power fist, a lightning claw, and a little cobalt gun. A little bot gun on his hand. That gets three shots. So what do I want? Outdoor blue. Calgar blue. Calgar outdoor. <gasps> Let's try Calgar. Take the paint. Make sure it's not all getting the pot. Call him Calida and Oh, not Imperio. That sounds a bit weird. That's, that looks like Embryo to me. <laughs> don't want to call him Embryo. <laughs> Actually, maybe that'll be a funny name. I don't know. Okay, so this is a layer colour. I bought the set of 530 layer paints, by the way, because for an offer. And I needed more bright colours for different things. So, yeah. Okay, is that too bright? I think that's too bright. That's too bright, isn't it? Yeah. Maybe we'll use the outdoor colour instead. Yeah, I can't. I'm struggling to get what I want with that one. We use outdoor instead of cowgar. Calgar versus Outdoor. Name him Audi. Audi? Why Audi? I mean, we can do. We can do. You've, you've not named one yet, but we'll let you name one. Oil base. Oil base. 
Okay, so we don't explode this time. Yeah. Okay, so Arc Dark Guard, but it uh, open it for the first time is difficult. Come on, get back. There we go. Nope, nope, nope. Open. Stay open. What well, was the first time I've had difficulty keeping it open? Oh my gosh, that actually broke. No. 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 Oh god, I just got it all over my finger then. Oh no, it's got this plastic bit of a top back that's meant to keep it up, but it's broken. No! No! Okay, let me get this glue off my finger. After Audi Murphy, a highly decorated World War II veteran, he cleared the entire trench and MG nest by himself with a couple of grenades and a pistol. Oh! Oh, that works. Oh my god. Stop. I just want this to go. Okay, come on. Ugh. No. No, I'm getting issues. Okay, you can see it's got this fat little bit of plastic there. It's not meant to be behind, it's not meant to be in front of a lid. No. Uh. Uh. It's making it impossible to close. Oh, there we go. There we go. Yes, got it. I got it in. There we go. And now I need to clean up my gloves again. They're covered in blue. You need nails to put it back. It's very, very ha hard to get Careful, the nails in. Spill. It's not going to spill. It's fine. It's fine. It's very hard to use nails when I've got gloves on. Okay, let's try using the outdoor blue now. Oh, that's a much nicer colour here. That's much more closer to what I need. Okay, let's just wet the brush up again. So it's not going to get dried paint on it. That's why I ordered 100 dropper bottles. What's a dropper bottle? It's at this type of bottle. There we go. Come on. How is it now? Oh yeah, that's much nicer. That's giving me the gradient I wanted. That's giving me the gradient I wanted. I want a gradient so that the top layer is lighter than the bottom layer because obviously you're going to have light reflections but also you're gonna have things being worn out by like the sun by the environment and the top part's gotta to be a bit more worn out than the lower parts I imagine. And the lower parts is where more dirt is gonna collect and stick which will make it look darker or at least grayer. At least grayer. Yeah, the style of phallic. I don't know what phallic and army painter are. Wait, actually, let me look. What is this? What is this? That's Liquitex. That's Liquitex. Okay, come on. 
There we go. I always wonder who is the guy painting for minis for promotional materials. I assume they just come to your house and photograph your minis and your work with. No, no. Wait, has have I don't know. Have we ever seen Tor's model? I've not seen Tor's models. Maybe he just has a lot of material, a lot of cool stuff, but he's not actually. His models all suck. I'm joking. I'm joking. His models won't suck. It's amazing. Tor's a god. Tor is a Norwegian god who teaches us about things. Actually, I think I've met the person who painted a lot of the minis when I was really young. It was like Games Day. I think it was offering autographs as well to people. Like, oh, you're cool. I'm more interested in the person who does a sculpting, though. Or at least he was one of the main people who did a lot of the painting of the miniatures. Anyway, he's like in what all the white dwarves and stuff. The guy was at Games Day. Yeah. I can't. I used to remember the guy who did a lot of the sculpts at the time. Because um, people either hated him or loved him for the new stuff he was bringing out. To be honest, I, I know a lot of people really dislike the Primaris Marines and their stuff they bring out. But I love them so much. I think they just look so much cooler than a lot of the other stuff they did before. They do passing house plates as if they also use mini centered in painting competitions. Yeah. 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 Oh my god. Why is white so much harder to paint with than literally every other colour? Okay, now that we've already got one layer of gradient on, this second layer of gradient feels much nicer. Oh, look at gradient. You can't see it. There you go. The gradient. The gradient. It's lovely. There's a huge difference from olden days of every match of the ones we see now. Yeah. Racism. What? What's racism? Oh, gosh, white's hard to paint with. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, white is hard to paint with. That's not racism. That's just fact. It's not racist if it's fact. Looks nice. Thank you. Thank you. Better look nice. Or you better think it looks nice. I'm going to have to punch it. I'm going to have to dock your salary. Since I don't pay you anything, that means you're going to have to pay me. You know? You know? Yeah! Oh, I love this. I love this. I love these models. Yeah. Ah, uh, okay. Oh. Yeah. Okay, so. So. I know if I was meant to talk about stuff today. And I had some stuff I wanted to talk about, but I can't remember what I wanted to talk about. Character names, I don't know. I don't know. There we go. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, that's looking nice to know. That's looking nice to I do not like this brush though. Oh, this bush does not like me, one of the other. Give me a little bit of water. Yeah, very good. There we go. Oh, that's nicer. That's nicer. Could I come up with a topic of conversation? What do people think of cheeseburgers with chips? I think it's tasty. 
I think it's tasty. I think it's the most tasty thing ever made, ever. Also, I'm going to be making an audiobook. I've already started writing it. I've already started writing it. You can't complain. Bright colours are better on white or grey primer. On black primer, you need so many layers. The yellow is even harder to make pop from black. That's why I did grey first part from in the end. Um, why I started doing grey. But no, it's just the fact that it's... But white stuff just seems so much harder to control than just like the blue. Nah, I'm gonna have to go back over with black. And the other is even harder to make block to pop from black primer, yeah. Why you doing really? After you do your black primer, you want to do a grey primer. And then you want to go over in your white. You know, for the area where you want the white. Um, so. Hmm. How did I paint him? I don't want your gun to be. Do I want metal guns? Do I want blue guns? I could give him blue guns. Do your cape blue? Do this gun blue? Yeah. Yeah, and how would your gun be? Main area blue? Yeah. Yeah, I've been doing bronze and metal. Now I'm painting hazard strips and for power fist of the 6mm epic scale terminators. That was precision work. Wait, what do you mean by chip? Hence the term chippy, yeah. No, if they're not, that's American Talan. Yeah. You tell him, Tor. Biff him up, Tor. I give you permission to. Murder Talan. No, no, don't murder him. I need him still. Um, um, you know, but biff him up. Biff him up. You are all wrong. No, we're not wrong. You're wrong. Your existence is wrong. I hate your existence. I'm gonna murder you. No, I'm not gonna murder you. I'm not gonna murder you. That'll be horrible. That'll be horrible. I don't know why I'm going so dark. I don't mean to go so dark. I don't hate you, Talan. Maybe a tiny bit for thinking I'm wrong about the East. Maybe a tiny bit. Maybe a tiny bit. Maybe a tiny lot of it. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm terrible at position work when it comes to this stuff. There we go. There we go. Let's just get some blue down. Let's just get the blue base down. The blue base down. On this pistol and for weapons. And his coat. We'll do it on this coat too. Have you ever had fish and chips? You don't get potato crisp with that. Yeah, come to Britain to land and have a fish and chip. Have a fish and have a proper fish and chip. Get a proper meal in ya. Oh wait, wait. Does it is it powered up for bottom? Oh, it is powered up for bottom. Oh, it's got little power cells at the bottom as well as at the top. I never noticed that. Put right there. Put right there. I'm not being too precise with all of this stuff. I'm just painting where I want for blue and then if it goes over the edges to other parts of the metal, that's fine. The gun, sorry. That's fine. We're doing thin layers. We don't mind. We don't mind. As long as it doesn't get onto the rest of the mini, it just stays on the weapon. Do some position work on that round the hand. There we go. I could not imagine though painting hazard strips on um six millimeter terminators. Why do they even have hazard strips on their fish? Who for warning the enemy? 
The one in the enemy that the power fist could fifth them up. Crazy. Crazy. I'm actively trying not to cry. What's wrong with Brits in Salon, eh? What's wrong with Brits? And you hate the British? Oh my gosh, racist. Trying to call me out for racism. Oh, you call it like you see it, but you see only yourself in the mirror because you're looking at the mirror to learn. Looking at the mirror. I really look, you might get a Chelsea smile. What the hell is a Chelsea smile? I've never heard of that. And I'm British. I live it. I mean, I don't go out. I've seen less of Britain than most foreigners, but still. That's a Chelsea smile. Why am I getting so aggressive and defensive for a Chelsea smile? I haven't even heard of it. Tell me, Tom. Tell me. Here's the power of fear. I'm 100% sure if that's the place I'll get my first shanking in. Chelsea, yeah, I mean, to be honest, most people that visit Chelsea do get shanked. But I mean, that's just part of the thing. That's just part of being British. Never been shanked. What are you, weakling? Weakling. Yeah. Weakling. How many weaklings are scared of getting shanked? Ugh. Ugh. What am I doing? I have no idea. I'm being crazy. I shouldn't be allowed to talk when I'm distracted. I'll just say anything, pretty much. There we go. This is nice, though. Oh, I bought some brushes. I bought some cool brushes, by the way. Some of these ones. Um, Windsor and Newton brushes. Windsor and Newton Series 7. I'm going to focus. Focus camera. Yeah. 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 I've used it a little bit when I was practicing painting these things. And if it was a zero one, I was practicing doing do, do the little parts of the miniatures that you can see like there. Some of the edges. Some of the edges. I worked with an ex Chelsea hooligan. It's when they slice you a smile ear to ear. Oh. Oh. Hazard strip. On power fist for an old heavy metal thing from back to the old days or oh for good ones remember to wash them out properly and use some conditioner for them after use yeah yeah you should do that with your brushes anyway you should do that on brushes anyway helps them last longer and stay pointier there we go, that's better. That's better. I'm up to do some more positioning work here. There we go. There we go. Nowadays we call them Joker Smile. Joker Smile. Must have got been to, must have lived in Chelsea, must have a Joker. Oh. <gasps> That's where his father's from. He's from Chelsea. He was just being friendly. I mean, that's like a friendly thing to do, you know, just put someone's face like that so if they're always smiling never frowning yeah it's 
Lee and Raphael 8404 are my fast Polinsky Sable. Polinsky. There we go. Hey, Britain's such a wholesome place anyway with the toasty smiles. With a joke for smiles. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Need to, need to make it less watery at the moment. Because I don't want it spreading to the hand, which I've already painted. But I need to get my brush into a point. There we go. That's easier. That's easier. There we go. Oh, yeah. Painted. Painted. It's very difficult to talk and paint at the same time, I'm realising. Like, think of something to talk about, focus on talking, you know, do nice things. My favourite brush is a $2 one I bought in a random shop in Austria for it. It's small and very, very good for detail. A beauty to use. Oh. I always struggled finding decent brushes. Because uh, back when I played mainly, I only had really cash to spend, physical cash. I didn't have, like, I couldn't buy online as a result. So trying to find decent brushes was always a bit of an issue. Yeah. Okay, come on. we go. And we're not looking too bad right now. Sometimes I paint larger areas of it just so I can use it more. No! You don't do that. You don't want to use a fine detail brush and have too much paint on it or use it for large areas. I don't know if you're joking with me or not when you say that. Knowing you it might be a joke but don't. I actually do. Oh no. Oh no. Pretty much any decent watercolour brush is good for miniature painting. Yeah, people say watercolour brushes. Don't use acrylic brushes, even for using acrylic paint, use watercolour brushes. I should not entirely understand, but it's the truth. It's what they say. I just got an email. Don't know what that's about, but whatever. I can ignore that. It's, it's night. Nice. It's night. Um, might have to actually look at it though, just so the notification won't keep vibrating every few seconds. Every few minutes, sorry, not seconds. Wrong word. <laughs> I'll try to paint the underside of this thing's gonna be difficult. I should have painted it before putting it together. Someone should have told me. Tor, who did actually tell me. Oh no. Oh no. I'm learning from my mistakes. But I would never take a lesson from it. Okay, you 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 won't stop vibrating. Go away, notification. I don't want to reveal you. I don't want to give you a review. There we go. Okay, just do the painting in here. Yeah, it's good enough. It's good enough. Yeah, it's good enough. Good enough. And you 
uh, also got enough now. Yeah. Yeah, your gun has been painted blue. Oh, I wanted to do Macrag blue for your cloak too, because everyone has a Macrag blue coat in this army. No, not cloak. If you got a cloak, it's going to be Macrag blue on the back of the cloak. Yeah. Oh wait, I need it far less water than that. I saw that airbrushes can make some really good effects. Yeah, airbrushes are great, but I can't use an airbrush right now. I don't have one, and unfortunately my setup won't be able to use one on stream. So, uh... Just the way it is, I'm afraid. Moving back, okay. I've just got to move out of the way if I can find it. Actually, get in my way now. And then over here. Oh, sorry, I'm having to move it. I gotta see. <coughs> now I coughed instead. I coughed instead, it somehow broke my model. I need to drink. And if we need this far enough, we can actually do some sturdy paint. Yeah, oh, we can do some finer work with paint. I was like, needle, oh, airbrush needle. Airbrushes have needles, okay. I get it. It took me a while to realise what you're talking about. There we go. Oh, a layer of McQuag blue on this cloak. McQuag blue, ultramarine colours. Oh, they also just have a... Did we get rid of ultramarine blue as a colour? Because it used to have ultramarine blue. I loved ultramarine. Actually, it didn't. But ultramarine blue is a real colour too. Maybe it wasn't ultramarine blue, the actual blue they used. And it confused people. That's why they stopped doing it and they changed it to McFag blue. But for this, it was like a much darker blue than the blue that they used to have. With the ultramarine blue. I thought maybe I'm just remembering wrong. I don't know. I'm good at remembering wrong. I don't have a great memory. Cupcake memories aren't great. There we go. There we go. I love this. I love this. I was so confused when I met Ultramarine Blue and then I met Ultramarine Blue outside of Warhammer. I was like, wait a minute, they, have, they named a colour after actual Warhammer models. It's like, no, no, Ultramarine Blue is older than Warhammer. No, 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 no. Ultramarine blue. But ultramarines are named ultramarines because the colour is ultramarine. I was a very... I was told... I was a kid when I played Warhammer. I was very confused by a lot of things. My entire life was Warhammer. Anything that existed out of Warhammer that was similar to Warhammer or that was just Warhammer itself or inspired by Warhammer. You couldn't escape it. There's a single action, double action airbrushes. Single action are good for climbing large areas. Double action is where you control for air and paint flow individually are one of the best though. Oh, I'm scared of that. That's what government wants you to think. But not everything is based on Warhammer. Oh, so everything is based on Warhammer. Nice. Knew it. Knew it. Kid me will be so happy right now. And would probably believe if I make that statement. There you go, that's a nice little blue on it. Hey. Then it's been long enough I can do another primer layer on this thing. Okay, so there we go. Not primer layer, another layer, get the blue more vibrant on it. There we go. Sorry about making that weird noise, but, but sorry. 
Sorry. Cross focus. Cross focus. That's my focusing noise. I apologize. Oh, that's nicer looking. And I did an advantage of double action that you can use the airflow to speed up paint drying times. Oh. Yeah, we were saying for the other day, weren't you? About that. I'm gonna have to wash this brush soon and then get it back. The paint's starting to creep up the next one. I'm gonna wash it now. The paint's creeping up the um the brush. You don't want it getting under the bristles. You don't want to get it under the metal, or then it just makes all the bristles break. Yeah. So let's give it a nice good clean in our water. There we go. There we go. I should get an airbrush. I'm going to change my setup so we can actually use the airbrush on stream. As you trigger down controls airflow, putting the trigger back controls paint flow. Down and up. Oh. Oh. So if it's controlled by the similar movements. Oof. That'd be scary. I'll just get some more layers down here. Don't have to be as exact as before as long as I avoid getting it on other parts of the model. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. Ah, my blue is becoming my favorite, more vibrant now. Nice blue. Oh, nice, nice blue. Oh yes. Oh yes, 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 yes. Yeah, I know Templar usually have red boxes, but I don't like the red and I want them to look a bit more unique. That's why I went for the blue rather than um you know the red that normally black templars go for. So yeah. There we go. One issue I dislike about these um, base paints is just how quickly they dry on the palette. That's like the main issue I constantly have with them. Like even with adding water to them, they just want to dry. Of a water ends up separating from a base layer, so you just pick up water and not pigment when you're trying to reload your brush from the palette. Right. Just become a bit thin. That's because of how heavy the pigment is to use for it. Makes it good for when trying to get like a nice deep colour in the minimum layers. When you just put you don't want to use that thick of a layer, so you want to thin down the paint, so then when you start thinning down the paint, it starts acting differently to how you want it to. There you go. Well, that's a lot nicer of a blue anyway than it was before. Yeah. I practiced some cardboard with water to get a feel of that. Oh. Where is the humidity of a room to increase the drying period? Um, how do I do that? How 
How do I do that? Do you mean I have to turn off some of my lights? I'm not turning off some of my 81 lights. 82 lights, sorry. But keeping them all on. All eight, I'm going to get more light. I've got to get more light. Don't care if I paint the acrylic here. I'll just go over it later again. Here. Yeah. Simply use a medium. What the humidifier? I don't have a humidifier. You think I'm made of humidifiers to learn? I'm not made of humidifiers. I don't just have humidifiers to put down anywhere and everywhere. What sort of humidifier person do you take me for? Oh. Oh. Some people, eh? Some people. Moderators. Can't trust them. I mostly want faster drying times and paint things I've been for paints and pot for years. I love faster drying times of a modder, I just don't want it faster drying of a palette. It's drying faster on my palette than it is of a modder. Maybe because it's a paper palette. Ta, 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 maybe you know. Why is a Games Workshop palette so expensive when it's just a box of paper? A booklet of paper, sorry. And it's not super, super expensive, it's just what you get is just like. I was not expecting that. I expected some super cool palette. But now. Now. You know, it's just a booklet. Just a box of blank sheets of paper. I assume do a humidifier kind of girl. A humidifier? I don't have a humidifier. I'm British. Why would I need a humidifier? Now, actually, I have wanted a humidifier before. Um, no, not a humidifier. I want an air conditioner. I put an air conditioner. That's different from a humidifier. Actually, probably well, no. I'd hope you know that humidifier is different from an air conditioner. I don't know how they're different, but apparently one is humid and one is a fire. Oh my gosh, this guy's covered in so much dirt. Look at all that brow. Oh my gosh, the brown really pops when I'm showing it on the camera. You'll make your own wet palette to serve some kitchen sponge and baking paper. Oh. Oh. Don't worry about all the brown and the darkness on them and you know like the how grey they look. Um because I'm gonna be fixing that. I'm gonna be fixing that. Um I plan to fix that. Um in the after process, in the after step, we're gonna make it very dark again. Especially all the recesses. We're gonna use some inks. Some inks. The recess is some very watered down ink. I think they call them shades now. They call them shades. Because they add shade quite easily. Give me more water. Yeah. 
you good. Oh wait, it's already dried around here. I can add the next layer on already. Noosh, 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 noosh. Don't need to add the starting layer to this area. There we go. There we go. And oh yeah. Oh no, I just got off a finger. Get off a finger. Get off a finger. There you go. Get off that finger. Get on my finger. Yeah, but where have a fall like falling known oil pot? Stick some black blue tack underneath them to keep them stable. Yeah. Yeah, no oil. No oil. Oh, we don't need to keep them stable. It's fine. It's fine. I mean, I'm not stable and I'm perfectly fine. I'm fine. I never do anything weird. I'll never ruin anything. Now just give me a credit card and I won't set it on fire. I love no oil. All my homies love no No, I hate no oil. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? No. no. Do you want to know the best colour? Definitely this one. No, that's no oil. Oops. Oops, that's no oil. No, it's definitely this one. I got this. Scent of F shade. Scent of F shade. The truth. The truth. The truth always shows itself. The truth always shows itself to the reality of the situation. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Just add some more paint to my adorable little model. The paints are so much more vibrant on the screen. Like that blue, you can see it's bright blue. To me, it's not that different shade from the black. Like these blues are so much more vibrant on the camera. Army paints are strong tone. It's the same shade as F Ad Black F shade and way cheaper. Also comes in a drop for bottle for more convenient dosing. 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 Like, these blues are nowhere near as vibrant for me. It's crazy. The green is a much darker for you guys, but it's much brighter for me. I wonder if there's, enough, if there's some sets that could change in my camera. I say blue. Oh, Talan can't even see what we're painting. I'm painting guns, but the guns just disappear on him. I see some colour blind to blue. I'm sorry, Talan, this is a gun. It's still a gun. He's still got a gun even after I paint it, Talan. Okay? Okay. I hope you understand. I hope you're not getting too confused. I hope you're not getting too... That's not how it works. No, it definitely haven't worked. It's definitely how it works. Don't think about it too hard, but it's how it works. What colour do the guns look to you, Talan? That's what I want to know. What colour? Are they, purple, are they more purple, red or green? Blue, 100%. You can't even see the colour blue. Okay, so what are we doing? There we go. That's blue. That's blue. Damn blue, da ba dee da ba die. Where the blue food tempers, da ba dee da ba die. Na 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 na. Cool. 
Sorry, sorry, I'm, I'm just getting. It's just things I like. Yeah. I just like to play with the models. I like to play with the models. I'm not here to paint, I'm here to play. I'm here to play with my little toy soldiers. To play my little action men. They're not Barbie dolls, they're action men. The action men. Actually, wait, it's G.I. Joe in America, isn't it? G.I. Joe. Wait, what is, what is it in um, Europe? Is it G.I. Joe, action man, or what? No, do you have your own names for it? Norway always has their own names and stuff. It's always silly. It's always silly sounding because they're Norwegian. And Norwegian names are funny. I'm joking. I'm joking. Norwegian names aren't funny. Actually, some of them are. Because everyone has some funny names. Every culture has funny names. I mean, you can't have a culture without a funny name. This is just for laws. You got a culture, you got to have a funny name. And so far, no culture has ever failed when it comes to funny names. Britain, we got Richard. We got Richard. You want the nickname for Richard is? Yeah. Yeah. Like Robin, Vason, Nightwing. Became Nightwing, you did. Oh, we call them so tall. No, Action Man and G.I. Joe are the same franchise, I think. Maybe, maybe. Because we didn't have G.I. Joe over here in Britain for ages. It was just all called Action Man. Maybe over here in Britain it wasn't. Or maybe it was two different things. And I just don't really know because I already knew of it as a kid. out now. But then they started bringing out the G.I. Joe film and stuff, didn't they? And then with the film they brought up a bunch of G.I. Joe toys in Britain. We needed more control. Eat for Blu-ray. And no, no one will ever see it there, but still. Get it blue. Get it painted blue. Okay, it'll take us so long to paint this gun that the parts we painted before are already dry and ready for another layer. Should we get that other layer on it? Get that other layer on it. Yeah. Yeah. No, don't say it, Kundra. Don't say it, not on YouTube. What did I say? What did I say? As Gotham Knights, Jason Todd. Is better in that game. Oh, Jason. Oh, he's a red mask or something, isn't he? He's a red mask. Now, my favorite is Grayson. My favorite Robin is Grayson. Leave a fact of a female Robin that came at one point. Um, that we see in Batman v Superman, do you know that one animated film and story that like either you love or you hate or you're like me and you're just kind of indifferent to it. It was a fun, it was fun. I, lo I liked a lot of it. Some parts of it were kind of meh. Bigger parts of it people didn't like for the story it was like, you gotta understand, rule of fool guy, rule of fool. Who cares about law, rule of fool, no. No, Batman's always been horrible. I mean, his entire rule against killing isn't actually all that stupid when you realise that Batman really, really, really wants to kill everybody. So he avoids killing people because once he starts, he knows he'll never stop. And that's why, he, like, that's why he's okay with like leaving people brain damage because he really just wants to kill them. 
And as long as he hasn't killed them, that's what he does. That's what he does. He knows morally and just all sorts of other things that he shouldn't kill them, but he's just he's just constantly wrestling with his own murderous, villainous, vengeful nature. Or at least that used to be the case. Um, but for Justice League Superman, Batman became so popular that um, um, he's kind of become the main Batman in lots of people's minds. And a lot of the comics have taken a lot of inspiration from him, making him a lot more just like a good person who's a bit broody. Former Robin, now Red Hood. Yeet. Why do all the Robins turn out so far that no one wanted to become a librarian or something? Um, well, when you get raised by a mad maniac wearing a bat costume who beats people up, I think you end up in a situation where you don't have many other opportunities in life or much of a training in life. Also, actually, I think um, Dick Grayson... Oh, no, I said the word. Um, Grayson actually wanted to be... As on multiple occasions, tried to settle down as something other than a superhero, but he's one of those, like, he's one of those dark characters where he's not a dark person, but bad things keep happening. Like Spider-Man. Bad things keep happening to him. Now <laughs> explodes. Yes, explodes. It's a name. It's someone's name. I'm talking about a character's name. He's even referred to that in the children's show named Teen Titans Go, which I actually kind of like. I know a lot of people hate it, but I like it. And I think the original show is a bit overrated, especially when you consider just how weirdly the animation was and the stories went. Some of the show was great, but some of it was really, really bad. And Teen Titans Go can go can actually be quite amazing. That being said, a lot of Teen Titans Go is also really bad. Like a lot of it. But a lot of it's also great, so if you like the original and you like just silly comedy. And you don't mind seeing the characters being even silly of unusual. It's a good show. It's a good show. Yeah. I've all people are free to dislike and like what they want. I don't mind people disliking Teen Titans Go or liking Teen Titans. I liked the original Teen Titans. I still do. I just also like Teen Titans Go. Yeah. Bruce's face silent when it comes to a greatest enemy, CPF. What CPF? What CPS? I'm indifferent to Teen Titans Go, but for yeah, for movie for Teen Titans Go was a great fun. It was great fun. Also for some, what's it called? Something about the night. Not take back the night. Teen Titans night. Night. I'm gonna have to Google it now. I'm googling it. I'm having to move some of my sets up around. There you go. Okay. Okay. Teen Titans go night. The night begins to shine. Yes, the night begins to shine. I absolutely adore it. I absolutely adore that show. That story. That, that song. That song. The night begins to shine. It's a song that features in... Um, Teen Titans Go, they have two episodes focused on the song and it's heavily inspired by retro EDM music. The song. It's not from the show. The show writers just really liked the song and just like made two episodes about it and well they had it on the show for like one episode um, just like as a passing thing but people loved it so much they decided to focus two episodes into it. And those episodes are amazing. Like the animation for the episodes is just top notch. They really went all out with it. 
Powered protection surfaces. Oh. Oh. Yeah, boost, boost, really. Although, to be honest, I would not trust child protection services in Gotham either. I would not trust them. That's probably why Bruce can get away with all the stuff he does. Because no one's going to do anything. No one does anything. Go. Just some weird straight ends of a brush. The Titans show ain't bad to be honest. Oh the Titans I seen the um live action one. I've not watched that one. I'm not a big fan of live action -y stuff. Um of a lot of the DC live action stuff anyway. Uh I like to film, but the TV shows I've not been a fan of, so I avoided it. Like Smallville, Arrow, Flash, like, eh. Oh my gosh, my tummy just grumbled. My tummy just grumbled. I hope you didn't hear that. I don't know why I ate food today. I ate food today. I had a bag of crisps and a cheeseburger and some chips. Who is this one actually sponsoring CPS in Gotham? Crowd, but yeah, no wonder it's so bad when if he's the one sponsoring it. I don't want people investigating me, so let's just make it as bad as possible. I need as many children orphans having to raise themselves in the streets as possible so I never run out of robins. In fact, there's not enough children out there. I'm going to make a couple of my own, throw them out of the street, and then recruit them. <laughs> If they survive. Oh my gosh. I could actually imagine Bruce doing that for like in one of the alternate realities. I really want him to do that. Did you drink water? Never! I drunk cola! I drunk cola! Yeah! Cola! Full of gas! Full of gas! Makes your tummy go blah 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 Making your own work. Making your own work yeah. Making your own work cars. Child labour is really weird in Britain. Like you can literally just get all the children to work for you if you really wanted to if you owned a business. That's not much the government would do about it unless you like really, really treat him from absolutely terribly. And you don't even have to pay for him. You don't even have to pay for him if you're your own kid. I mean, you still have to feed them and water them and all of that stuff. Um, because they're your kids. But if they work on a farm, they can just feed and water themselves. That part's of the job. Part of the job. My brother was always always tried to tell me that he worked in the mines as a child. And now we're starting to believe that he actually believed that he worked in the mines as a child. He's a bit weird. He's a bit weird. Pa 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 pa. Like I thought it was just a joke. I thought it was just a joke. Because that never actually happened. He somehow convinced himself it's not a joke. Crazy. Remember the animated film where Lois Lane dies carrying Superman's child? He goes full full and arc in a missile guide to attempt to make things right to the world. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Superman does a lot of things like that when Lois dies. Lois Lane. 
There's a lot of anime. I loved the anime. I say I love. The stuff I don't like about it. The animated suicide squad films. Those films are great. And just in general, the entire um, the animated series. The animated film universe that DC had was great. I loved it. It was silly. It was way too grimdark. For its own good. And I loved it for it. I loved just how stupid it was. Also, you had the shark guy in it. Oh, I need to catch up on Harley Quinn. Oh, that reminds me. Harley Quinn animated series. I loved it. But I've not I've not watched the next I've not watched the last series that came out. In fact, I think another series came out after it, so I've not watched that one either. I'm like so far behind. I'm like so far behind on it. There we go. That's some nice blues. That's some nice blues on our guns. Yeah. And now we want the other blues. Oh, but we're actually going to have to stop the stream soon enough. Outdoor. Outdoor. I hated the first, um, what film? SQ film, but loved the second one. You remember that movie? They brought a different Superman to fight that one. Oh my God. We're not allowed to have hobbies. Let my man die to the people that he worked in the mines. Yeah, he's allowed to. Da 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 da. Harley Quinn proves the trope that all shrinks become shrinks to understand their own issues. Maybe. Maybe. Wait, proves the trope. Proves it. It's a TV show. It doesn't prove anything. <laughs> All it does is use the trope. My gosh, my floor needs washing. My floor needs washing. Not washing, vacuuming. Go and get off a lid. There you go. There you go. We got some blue. We got some blue and it's a layer of paint so it's much, much easier to use. Yeah. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. There we go, just get some nice stuff there on my palette. Go, da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Let's highlight the raised areas. Yeah. Yeah. One of the edges over here. Let's go up at the top of the cape. It goes up at the top of the cape. This way it's going to be nice and flat. And all along these areas here. Yeah. yeah. Come on, what colour? There we go. So I'll just pick up, pick up the paint. Oh no, I'm getting on the wrong part. There we go. Go over there. Yeah. Yeah, you get over parts you don't want to just get your finger onto the parts. There you go. That looks a little nicer. And then we'll just very faintly bring a brush over this back and forth so it gets the raised parts of it. Yeah. Tiny bits of water. Tiny bits of water. Tiny bits of this. There we go. That's a good. That's good. Just get you yeah, get the edges. Get the raised parts. That's the parts we want to highlight. That's the parts I want to highlight. Yes, 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 yes. I need to get an ultrasonic cleaner for my airbrushes. Makes the cleaning, which is the biggest, hard and regarding almost non issue. Oh.
Yeah. I, I love airbrushes, for they give you such a smooth finish to your work. So for space marines especially, with all these large surfaces where you want just this nice smooth finish for your armour, it's just such a good thing to have. There you go. There you go. Yeah. But equally at the same time, I don't know how I'd set up an airbrush. I don't know how I'd set up an airbrush for my setup here because I've not got a lot of space to work with. And I'm at my computer, I'm at my desk. I think that the things to go wrong with it are quite heavy. Oh gosh, pardon me, sorry. Oh my gosh. That was a groan and a half. There we go. There we go. Give me, give me this. Give me this. Here we go. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's way too much paint. Oh no. I should have cleared the brush a bit more. There we go. Oh. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. Oh, yeah. I'm getting, I'm getting paint everywhere. I'm get, I'm just highlighting as much as we can onto the blue. So the blue has more popping, more variation, more color. It looks just in general nicer. Rather than just one solid colour. Yeah, this might be a better job for a dry brush, but I want to keep my accuracy. I want to keep some increased accuracy for the start the brush gives me. Hola Montia, hello! I'm doing well. We're painting and it's going relatively well at the moment. I say relatively because it's only relatively well. It's not amazingly well, it's not badly. I could be doing a lot better than I am, but you know, I shouldn't complain. Shouldn't complain. How are things going for you for you? There we go. I don't know if you see that bolt pistol. That bolt pistol is huge, right? There you go. Where is it? There you go. You can see it. I think this bolt pistol is tiny. I think that bolt gun's huge. And hello, Mercury. Oh my gosh, everyone's here. Everyone's here. How are you doing? How are you doing, everybody? Thanks for joining the stream. We're painting. Oh, have you heard Night Begins to Shine, Mercury? It's a great song that's very heavily 90s, 80s, EDM inspired. No, 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 actually no. Like, really retro EDM inspired. It's a modern song, but it's very heavily inspired by old songs. I love that song. I love that song. It's, it, it's heavily utilised in Teen Titans. We are talking about that before. I can't remember if I asked you about it before, I might have done. There's a song that I'm likely to bring up. There you go. There you go. Now some of the blues here did not stick very well. I'll use some layer paint on it then. 
There we go. There we go. I talk, yeah, B E R, B E R song, yes. Yes. There we go. Okay, we'll do one last layer on them and then we'll start to wrap up the stream. Okay, yes. So I wants to make his grey knights into mirrors. Watch this. Oh, I kind of want to build myself a grey knight army. I want them to really shine and like pop a silver finish on the armor. That could be done with specialized airbrush paints. Oh, oh, yeah, I imagine so. What about using foil? What about using some foil for your temper and heat? It has some 1980s rock metal anthem which makes every 1980s part electric, party electrifying. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we want some Caligar blue now. Just to do the final highlights and the weapons. Taking it up. Tapping the top. How is that paint? Oh, that's good paint. That's good paint. Wait, did I close that other blue properly? Let me make sure all my paints are closed. Problem sometimes is Citadel stuff. You can't tell if it's closed properly until it's a bit late. Okay, now the lighter blue. Really add those light highlights in. Or maybe a bit less paint on my brush would be good. Um, there we go. Ah, there we go. That's much nicer. That's much nicer. Make myself a nice loading zone there. There we go. There we go. Just oh yeah. Put it on the edges here to make it look all worn and beaten. Ooh, that's good. That's good. I like that. I like that with the blue. You can kind of just see the highlights I'm going with. Just about even that low resolution. Yeah. Yeah. If we continue here, load, load again. Yeah. Yeah. I just, ah, just go over like that. Ah. Catch all the raised areas. Yeah. Yeah. And then I don't know why I make that noise, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, load it up here. Oh my gosh, that's too much. Unload, unload! Oh my gosh, that gun's looking so much better now. That gun's looking so much better with some different shading on. Yeah. Yeah, I know how to paint. I know how to paint, guys. You were thinking I didn't. You were thinking I didn't with these guys looking so weird. But look, look, I'm an artist. It's says so for thumbnail. I'm an artist. I'm an artist and great art. Great art takes time. Great art takes work, takes effort, takes time. I am definitely not being egotistical right now. I'm the most modest person I've ever met. And I've met a many a people, all of whom were not as modest as I am because I am the most modest person to ever exist least egotistical yeah 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 okay okay come on come on we can keep this going we'll keep this going oh no no it's too, too much again too much again i keep doing this i keep making the same mistake oh yeah just push it over 
push it over. Just don't get it on all the things I don't want to get it on. Don't get it on all the thingies and all the arms and just stuff like that. Oh, it's cool. I love that gradient there now. Oh, I love that. I love the gradient we just developed from that weapon on that side. Let's try to build the gradient slip. Oh, no, it is already there. Nice. Okay, I like how much quicker that it goes. Like, getting the initial base layers down often takes a lot more work and a lot more time for getting the highlights and the shades and stuff and all your... Maybe not all your details, but getting stuff like this, the basics done off your colours, is so much quicker than getting the base down. For base down, you have multiple layers. You have to go over wide area. You have to make sure you stay inside the lines. These colours, though. These highlights, all of that stuff. Cool. Oh, nice, 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 I know Citadel paints are relatively expensive for what you get, but some of them are very beginner friendly. Right. I've been able to buy them all from the same place. This is a lot easier and they're generally a lot more in stock. Where when I tried looking at other paints like alternatives, you didn't get everything in stock all the time. I was like, ah. And lots of the tutorials to teach you how to use Citadel paints, like when you're looking online, but I won't tell you what other paints you can use, you have to figure that out for yourself. I'm like, you know, do you take me for a thinker? I might have gone to university, I might have studied physics, I might have done philosophy as well while I'm there. But, you think I'm a thinker? You think I'm a th Okay, I'm a thinker, I am a researcher, okay, it's fine, it's fine. Like, but still, still you're assuming assuming i like i also i like it i like citadel paints and maybe one day games workshop will sponsor me if i decide to stop insulting the stuff they do no citadel paints aren't bad citadel paints aren't bad i love citadel paints they're good they're good they're good enough they're good at what they do maybe you can get cheaper ones but still it's good. There we go. There you go. Okay, so they are coming along now. We did not get anywhere near as much done as I wanted to. Check side by the way. I know, I know. I finished the cat things I was doing. 15 quid or 30 millimeters, so yes, expensive, but for the effect, worth it if that's what you're looking for. Citadel paints are great for so easy to steal. Oh my gosh, to land. Oh my gosh, to land. But yep, yeah, yeah, we're moving. We're moving to the new talking. To the new talking. Citadel paint pot. Look at my Citadel paint pot. I painted it. I painted it. Also, do you want to see something? For those of you who missed the starting soon screen. Look, I'm painting. I'm painting by doing myself painting. I do my hand. I'm running like my hand so hard to draw. But yeah, yeah. I hope they doubled in price. What? Valor Joe are easy to steal since the droppers are small in size. Smaller in size than G dubs. <laughs> Didn't know that nice. Yeah, but I mean for that expensive, they might put like little tags on them and stuff. A spotted cup cat. Yay, a spotted cup cat. Good. Good good. Good good. Right now, thanks for coming to the stream, everybody. Oh, it's great having you all. It's always nice to see you supporting me and hanging out with me, especially with something like this. Where it's very trying to paint and stream at the same time is very new to me. And trying to, and especially since I'm still learning to get back into painting, you're learning with me. I like it. I, I, I like that you, you guys will support me with it. 
It's a very metal day here. Oh, I'll go and listen to Heavy Metal by Don Fed. I can't wait another minute and Heaven's on Fire. Ooh, metal. I'm getting ready for Sunday when I'll play songs in my uncle's house. Bye, everyone. Bye bye, Mercury. Good luck with your songs. Thanks for coming to the stream. Make cell phone painting theme. Thank you. My models are looking okay. I'll try painting for more off stream, I think. Yeah. Yeah. They're coming along. They're coming along, though. Oh, dudes. Dudes. Cupcake. Yesterday, after undercoating all my models and for finally finished drying, I decided I wanted to play against the two minutes I had. And I did a little battle where if I had to capture for, um, a Bane Blade, a Rex Bane Blade, that was the objective. And for Black Templars won! Yeah! I've made a bunch of mistakes on both sides. Like I thought the Oral Lictors would be super powerful and like really good at assassinating characters. And the Oral Lictor jumped into the squad went by Aldrich is in, Captain Aldrich. And it just got slaughtered. It just got diced into tiny bits. Captain Aldrich just like grabbed it and crushed it like it was nothing. Like, oh, yeah, maybe maybe it's not so good at killing... Maybe it's only good at killing Imperials. Maybe against um, in Guardsmen and Eldar stuff. Maybe against really, really tough Space Marines and Graphis Army. It won't be very good. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah, it was very silly. By the way, thank you for coming to the stream. So goodbye and um, ending scene. Yeah, that's meant to be paint. That's not meant to be blood. That's meant to be paint. 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 I tried doing my best to imitate paint using chart. Oh, the distraction card effects did show up, but it got killed by a stone guard veteran with a power sword. The stone, yeah, it charged the stone guard veterans. It got a bunch of hits in with a heavy bolter and devastating wounds. And then the power sword guy just finished it off, chopped its head off. Parasite of Martrex almost killed me though. 